Fee Salilisa won second place in the men's marathon final race during the Rio Olympics. As he passed the finish line, he raised his arms and crossed them, trying to tell us something. You might think he was either playing tic-tac-toe or showing us where the treasure is. Nah, what he really meant to say was that things are a little bit out of whack in Ethiopia and Fiisa wanted to bring people's attention to this. The what? Is they, is they kidding me? They will kill you? Yeah. In Ethiopia, the Oromo people are the largest indigenous ethnic group, but the power lies in the hands of the Tigrays in the north, who are a minority and are in government. They have adopted a new master plan to displace two million Oromo farmers from their native land. Two million people! The Oromo struggle is about fighting for their right to remain on their land. This isn't anything new. The protests began a while ago and are still ongoing. It's sad to see that the Olympic Games is more interesting than the oppression of the Oromo. So, when the Rio Olympics came around, Feisa saw his opportunity to highlight his people's plight. Now, you might be wondering why the world hasn't even heard of the Oromo people. Well, if a butterfly flaps its wings anywhere in Europe, the whole world looks up to see what is going on. And because this is more important than this. So you see, some parts of the world are not as newsworthy as others. Being killed, tortured, beaten and displaced in Syria, Yemen and now in Ethiopia. Where is the international outcry or the social media posts? If you want to take the world's attention, stop being a clicktivist. Do something useful. Donate now by clicking one of these links.